Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Arif and I'm in China. And today I'm going to be meeting my friend Peter. He's taken me for something to eat. I don't know what, but I'm really hungry. So, oh, I nearly walked into a bus stop. Well, that's not a good start to the video, is it? So yeah, my friend Peter is taking me for something to eat. I don't have a clue where he's taking me, but um, it should be interesting and I'm really hungry so I'll pretty much eat anything so let's go so I've just met my friend Peter he's here hey. and he's going to tell us where he's taking us because I don't have a clue where are you taking us Peter definitely not that band like... <laughs> definitely not that music place we're going for uh, something yeah, to eat this, this, this place where they have the most authentic local food in Singapore. It's the Michi Bun that we have here. The Michi Bun. Something I find in like Chinatown overseas, but like this this place is really authentic. So. Oh, so we're going for some meaty buns, buns with meat in them. Traditional and Chinese really food juicy. and really juicy. Can you confirm this? I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going in to get some meaty buns. What's the Chinese uh, name for this? Xiaolongbao. Xiaolongbao. Yeah. yeah. Shaum bao. There you go, I'm an expert now. You want a tan or like glass even? You what? You want a tan of it or even glass? Yeah. So we're going for three each. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, yeah. Right, so we're taking a seat here to get some shaum bao. It's two pounds for six. Two pounds for six? No way. That's so cheap. Two pounds for six or so three each. Wow. So, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Wow. We get some soup too. I feel like if you're a competitive eater, you should definitely come. A competitive eater? Yeah. I'm so skinny. Oh, the rear, the rear. So, what's the soup for, um, Peter? Uh, it's kind of sweet inside, so you, you might want to just drink it along the way. Cause oh, can you dip the Shaun Bao? No, never, never. Don't dip it? Never. <laughs> Actually, I'll, I'll don't. teach you. Okay, he's going to teach us now, so... So you don't hurt yourself? So what's this? Vinegar. Oh, vinegar, really? So we're putting vinegar on first. And then we're getting the soup. It's a soup, yeah? Yeah. I'm sure you don't get it. I think we'll get some extra treatment. Oh, extra treatment. <laughs> so the soup's for free, apparently. Nice. So let's watch Peter, the expert, do it. So he's getting the Xiaomi Bao. It's really hot at this point, because it just came out of the studio. Uh -huh. So I might just want to wait for a bit. <laughs> Let it cool down first. Is it steaming hot at this point? I think that's a good idea, Peter. I think that's a great idea, to be fair. So we've got the vinegar, the Xiaomi Bao, the meaty, meaty... Uh, meaty bun sorry and we've got the soup which we got for free because they're very very generous so thank you very much for that so i'm going to tell you how to eat it uh, you're gonna dip in here mm -hmm. you buy the top of it buy the top of it yeah yeah why so you got to cut out there so you all right suck out the juice oh so you suck out the juice the first juice is sweet, so you don't want to like contaminated with the vinegar so oh just have this pepper sweet part then dip the whole meaty bits in a, in a vinegar so basically we bite in the top part of the bun letting the steam oh, come oh, out the bottom it's also the juice fine. it's also fine to bite the bottom it's all by the bottom by the bottom as well it's either top or the bottom oh so uh, either or yeah right so bite the bun suck the juices then eat it well dip it in the vinegar then eat it. I'm looking forward to this. It smells really good. You should try it. It's even better. Have you ever had it before? I've had it a long time ago. A long time ago. This is like the signature dish here. Really? What in Jiangyin or in China? In in Jiangyin. Oh, really? So this is like it's famous here. It's, it's most famous in downtown Wuxi, and Jiangyin belongs to Wuxi. The the the, the this brand Jiao, is Xiaolong the Xiaolong Bao. The Xiaolong Bao. Yeah. This brand. Uh huh. So it's a chain restaurant. It came from downtown Wuxi. Oh, so a local brand. Yeah. Oh, so there's many of these around. Yeah. Oh. Interesting. So this brand is actually 
from here it's a local brand that's very interesting so let's taste the soup right that's the soup quite cliche and we got this on the house you can't complain it's free well i'm not complaining this is really good yeah wow this is excellent <laughs> yeah i think they have tasted yeah it does taste a little fishy actually you're right yeah you got a seaweed in yeah We've got the seaweed here, as you can see. I've made a mess, as you started. can tell. Oh, Peter's already had a bite. How is it so far? As usual. <laughs> as usual. <laughs> so, I have some more soup. Oh, that is good, that is good. Now, I want to try some of the dumpling. Oh, I keep calling the dumpling. Shower okay, about or something. Keep calling the shower the dumpling. <laughs> it's not a dumpling, is it? We kind of like it. Oh, it's so similar, yeah. So first, bite put it, it put it down there. Oh, put it down. Make, first, make sure you don't spoil it. Oh, okay, okay. Bite the inner plate. Bite the top, yeah. Yeah. Is that okay? So I'm gonna bite the top. I'm gonna top the juices, yeah. Be patient. It's kind of hot. Oh, the flavor is unreal. Wow, I thought it was going to be like watery, but it's yeah. not. Just really, really rich here. Yeah. Oh wow, that's unreal. You know, like food here is famous for being sweet, and mm. this is real sweet. So. It is pretty sweet, actually, for me. Then it's, it's quite. It's actually kind of unusual here in China. You have like real sweet food, but it's oh. food here, like, localized food here, are quite sweet. Yeah, I've noticed that there's a lot of sweet foods around here. So now do I oh, so now do I just dip it around? Yeah. Then it's have a huge bite. Can I eat it all? Yeah, you can. That's what I do. <laughs> it saves time. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. All in one. Yeah. Wow, that is quite sweet. That's really good. Really, really good. I'm so filling. There's a lot of meat in there. I know back home we'll get a Greg's, Greg's pasty. There's no filling inside. This is filled to the rim, filled to the top. It's unreal. So yeah, basically I'll have another one by the top. I'm, I'm an expert now. Don't Some break juices. Kyle, <laughs> don't do that. Don't do that. I told you to put. <laughs> you didn't say patience. You didn't say patience. Right. <laughs> anyway, and now dip it around and then eat. You just can't wait. It's so good. That is fantastic. Really, really good. And the vinegar really does complement the shawum bao. Unreal. Wow. That's really good. I'm just surprised how cheap it actually is. <laughs> Two pound for six. Really? I mean, like, honestly, do you think it's very good? Even off camera? For the price, yeah. Two pound? In England, this would not be two pound. I'm amazed how you got, you got enough with it first time trying. Maybe second time. Trying to have some more soup here. Oh, we've got some seaweed. Got some seaweed. Go for it. Free seaweed. <laughs> yeah, free seaweed, seafood, like Peter said. Can't complain if it's for free. You can't complain. But it's actually really good. It's very um, homely. Yeah? Yeah, very homely. Well, I like fashion. I don't think many will be able to make the bomb because it takes time and technique. What, the Shaun Bao or yeah. the soup? Shaun Bao. Oh really? So it takes years experience. So could you go home and make the Shaun Bao now? You better kill me. <laughs> Too difficult. It'll take you a long time. It's not a long time, it just it takes experience. <laughs> experience. How many years? 10, 20? If you work solely on that, maybe five years could be good. Five years, bloody hell. These no. are the experts here in this restaurant. 
I've seen the Netherlands, like they also make the same stuff, like in the Netherlands. Yeah, but like it's it's kind of salty. Oh, like, not as sweet. They, they didn't get the flavor right. So. Oh, so they're trying like a replicate. Remember that, like when I get up, when I got off my quarantine like a year ago. Uh huh. The thing that I missed the most is this one. Really? Yeah. Because you were in the yeah, Netherlands. Like, yeah, like, I think birds don't have like 20 of it at, at once. So. Re 20 at once? Yeah. Bloody hell. So Peter went to the Netherlands to study, and the uh, food he missed the most is this Shaom Bao. I didn't say it right, Shaom Bao, yeah? Yeah, alright. take the whole scene in at once. Whoa, Pierre went for it there. He took no prisoners with that one. I feel the whole thing explode. <laughs> Exploded in your mouth. An explosion of flavors. <laughs> Amazing stuff. Right, I'm going to do the same as Peter. Get the Shaolin Bao. Dip it. Bite it, bite the top. Thank you very much, Peter. So, bite the top, be patient, Peter said. So, bite the top. If you zoom in on that, look at the meat. It's absolutely full to the rim. It's full, it's all meat. You're getting your money's worth. And it was only about two pounds. You can break the all skin. Break, break the skin. skin. And then can see like how large yeah. the meat is. But break the skin. You can actually see how much it's meat just is a in huge there. Meatball. A huge meatball. Nothing like IKEA. <laughs> no, you get ripped off in IKEA. You get shortchanged in IKEA. This is the real deal. I mean, look at that. That is unreal. So, we're going for it now. I don't want to drop it. I don't want to drop it. It's very precious. It's very pre really? my precious. You want to help? I think I need help with it. Maybe use the spoon. It's because I'm using my left you use hand. The spoon, like... No, no, I'm not cheating. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I'm an expert. It's really sour. That's very, the vinegar really is sour. But that Shaolin Bao is absolutely unreal. If you've never had Shaolin Bao, you have to come here to uh, Wen Jiang Yin, Wuxi, province of Jiangsu, <laughs> yeah. This is where it was born. This is where this was born. So the Shaomao was born here, yeah? yeah. In this province or in, in this Wuxi? city? Oh, in the city. Yeah. Bloody yeah! Wow. So yeah. But like they also make it in Taiwan. They have like the top one brand of Shaomao. Awesome. I wouldn't say it's re it's authentic though, oh. even though it's made really fancy. Yeah, and, like, yeah. Where it's like a copycat. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that was absolutely unreal. If you want to try Shaolin Bao, come to Chang Yin or Wuxi and get the proper stuff, not the copied stuff elsewhere. So come here to Wuxi, Chang Yin, try the Shaolin Bao. What would you give it out of 10? Just usual for like 8 out of 10 for every single time I go on. So, yeah. so 8 out of 10 for Peter. I'm going to give it an 8 and a half out of 10 because of the hospitality and because we got a free bowl of soup so I'm going to give it an 8 and a half out of 10 because it was absolutely delicious and you got your money's worth the Shaolin Bao so the dough was absolutely full to the rim with meat which is and juice which is crazy and the meat juice yeah and the meat juice as well so yeah 8 and a half out of 10 for me Unreal for the price two pounds six. Unreal. So, Peter has just been telling me he's going to get on a train for 24 hours in the summer. Really, 24 hours? Where are you Actually, going? It's for semi money. Like, I could, I could opt for the faster one, but like, I feel like the whole trip, the meaning of it is to see what's on the road and maybe talk to people about it. So, I think the slower train will be a better option. Also, saves money for me. So where are you actually going though? Like, what's uh, the destination? It's called Gansu. Uh, Gansu. It's in the west of China. It's, it's in the east of Xinjiang. Xinjiang is the west, uh, the western, the most western province. So are you going just for travel or? Yeah, for a trip, like for a week long trip. On your own, yeah? Yeah. For like single travel. So that's actually very interesting because then um, usually people would travel on the bullet train really fast. But PSM basically, as you heard, 
he's going on the well the, the normal train yeah yeah. The 24-hour train, so he can see the scenery and everything. I've never actually heard that. Usually, people will say, "I want to go on the bullet train, the bullet train." I don't want to go on the slow train. But you're saying the total opposite. I want to see the views. So like, maybe just try something different, like this time. So it's a refreshing take on it, actually. Refreshing well, like, take on it. So I'm just seeing in person like how much has changed over the years. All right, so. Yeah. Changed over the last 10 years. I remember like when there was my grandpa and like she, right at this point like she has passed away for years So like yeah, just want to maybe a bit of nostalgia there. Oh nostalgia. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh 100% I think you'll definitely enjoy that. Well, I wanted to go on the bullet train in the summer I think Pierre is convincing me that if I went traveling, maybe I'll get the longer train. Especially for a long trip then. You got the, you got the view and for a cheaper price, why not? It's a refreshing take. I like this take. I've never heard this before. Everyone I talk to is get on the bullet train, get on the bullet train. But Pierre's given me a totally different perspective. Get on there, slower train, enjoy the view and appreciate the view on your way there. And it's cheaper. I'm going to finish this uh, fish soup. There you go. All done. They're closing now, so we're going, we're heading off. Right, that's all done. Just clean up. Honestly, you don't have to. Oh, okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, 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 bye-bye. That was unreal. So that was the Shalom Bao with Peter. Absolutely unreal. I definitely recommend if you're here in Wuxi, China, definitely recommend it. So cheap and so good. So yeah, eight and a half out of 10 for me. That was a bit too good. If you like the video, just give it a like and we'll do a few more like this. I'll see you later. Have a good day. Boom.